Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all, okay? Plant up a new banger and you exclusively you will definitely be notified. So Daniel Danamai Dubois has been working on some very key uh, elements in his game. Dubois, as you can see right here, is working on uh woven and shoving, head movement, agility, speed and uh, fast reactionary uh, movement basically he defend to attack that is game plan for joshua i think this is how he's gonna fight but this guy right here is mimicking Anthony joshua but the thing is that joshua doesn't just let his punches waste like that joshua always stay to the target you know it's always on target when he when he punches if joshua misses then you know that um he didn't really throw that punch with an, in, an, in, an intent you know um i have to say this though dubois this fight is a big is, is, a, is, a, is a dangerous fight for for joshua the fact that the reason why it's the dangerous fight because dubois is coming off two great wings okay two fantastic wings over Jerry B. Pharmacist Miller and Philip, the former boogeyman Ergovich, whom of course got dethroned by Daniel Dubois. Well, I would say Philip Ergovich should have lost already. Facts. They have lost already to to um, to Jan Jalei. But I think judges, the judges robbed Jan Jalei of that win and we all know that if you're a boxing fan you you definitely agree to that you know so it's very interesting that when you look at the style of joshua and dubois it kind of it's like a like similar style it's very similar because when Dubois came into the scene, you, you can tell that he fought like Joshua. You know? The only difference is that he doesn't have too much to his game. You can see his jab coming from miles away. But he does, according to the rumors, he does have a solid jab. A jab that can bounce your head back. You know? He does have that. So... That's another thing going for him. And uh, Joshua has his own jab. A lot of people don't recognize that jab too much because they feel like Joshua has other tools, you know, to his arsenal to knock you out or to stop you or to overwhelm you other than the jab. Well, we'll see what happens. But I have to say though, I'm liking this uh, this stuff from, from the ball. Um, the fact that he's working on his head movement. Look, he's moving his head. It shows he knows how dangerous Joshua is. Because against Ergovich, he didn't move his head at all. He just went there to try and overwhelm Ergovich, which he did. But Ergovich landed over 30 right hands, if I'm not mistaken. And he didn't face him. We remember when... Francis Gano was seen as basically unbeatable in terms of like I didn't I will tell you right now I didn't see Joshua knocking Francis Gano out because Gano has been kicked to the head by big monsters of men but he never he never went down he wobbled but never went down 
Joe's one on the hand, landed three straight um, punches on him. Gun went to sleep. That should tell you how much of a puncher Joshua is. People just want to downplay the man's achievement because they don't like it. And that is sad because if you call yourself a boxing fan, why wouldn't you like a guy that is putting boxing on the map? That basically brought boxing back, especially if you're a British fighter or a British boxing fan. You should be. Joshua should, should have a statue in, in Britain. But as someone that brought boxing back, he needs to be, I think when Joshua retires, that is, that is where a lot of people would appreciate him, you know. But we don't know the talent. We don't know what is the impact he's had on boxing. We don't know he's the face of boxing on, on globally. He's known worldwide. What I say worldwide. So you might not. You might be ahead of the guy because you feel like he's too humble and stuff like that. But you have to give him credit. But this fight right here is looking very uh, it's exciting. Marsh. Uh, by Marsh next year. Who know where the every division is heading to because by then Fury Fury um Usyk 2 would have been concluded so Joshua is September 21st this month we'll see what happens I'm I'm very hopeful the every division is looking little little anyway guys stay for me so I go bless you all and give your thoughts on what you think about the boys head movement and uh, this new training drill. Well, we'll see. Tell Look nice.